you're coming to the make noise system from the keyboard mono synth, you may be wondering where are the envelopes? The Maths is a versatile signal generator and processor with many possible uses, including generation of several types of envelopes. Because it's a little more open ended than the typical mono synth ADSR, it might look a little bit confusing. Here's a walkthrough of how to generate envelopes with Maths. The first thing to know is that unlike on a mono synth where envelopes are labeled filter, amp, etc., the envelope created by Maths will not control anything unless you patch it to control something. This does not have to be a filter or VCA. It can be anything with a control voltage input, the pitch of the DPO, for example. So to generate our envelope, we'll use channel one of Maths and disable cycling. Now, when you press a key on your keyboard synth, what's happening is you're generating a gate that tells your envelope to open. We're going to simulate that with the pressure points. Since I have it hooked up to brains, I'll take the T gate output. If I were not using brains, I'd use the common gate out, which is the top right jack. The gate outputs a voltage that goes immediately from zero to maximum when you touch the plate and immediately back to zero when you release. You can hear this by patching it directly to a control voltage input. If we send it to Expo FM input for VCOB, for example, turning up the input attenuator, it causes the pitch to jump up immediately and then drop immediately back to where it started. By processing this gate with maths, we can add a smooth transition from one state to another. Let's patch the gate to the signal input on maths channel 1 and take the output to the Expo FM input as before. Now the same signal is going through maths, but processed by slew limiting. We can use the rise and fall controls to set the maximum speed at which the voltage increases and decreases. We can also set the path it takes as it goes up and down with the response control. So we have an attack sustain release envelope. We can use the output attenuverter to set the sustain level and we can even use it to invert the envelope so it causes the pitch to go down instead of up. We use the trigger input instead of the signal input. We get an attack decay envelope with no sustain period. We could use this envelope for other purposes. For example, running the DPO through the Optimix and use the envelope to control the amplitude of the signal. controlling the parameters of the final output with the external source input. Since the maths has two channels of slew limiting, we can molt the same gate to both channel 1 and channel 4 and generate two independent envelopes from the same gate. This is analogous to the filter and amp envelopes on a mono synth. One controlling timbre while the other controls volume. If we also use the tuned voltage output of the pressure points to control the pitch of the DPO, we have a basic four note keyboard. <laughs> Stay tuned for more system tutorial videos.